Okay, imagine yourself in this scenario. Please spend five minutes rather than the usual 15 to 20. There will be three tasks. We're going to ask you for your general impressions. Remember, great testers get into the mindset of the customer, carefully read the task, and explain their thoughts. What is your first impression of this web page? What is it for? Okay, I'm wait waiting for the web page to load. Okay, I see the URL is pimpos.com.au and I'm waiting for the content to load. Okay, so just from the URL, I know it's a, an Australian company, and I see the name also here, Pimpos Australia. Um, from the images that are changing here, my first impression of the website is that it is a e-commerce site that sells shoes. Probably, my initial impression was that they were children's shoes, but... The second image here with the larger sizes and the heels, I, I, I'm thinking that they also um, sell adult shoes and everything looks like it's women's shoes. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little. Um, you know, they're definitely very colorful, whimsical designs and I see pricing, I see reviews, so my impression is reinforced that this is a site that sells shoes. Oh, okay, and then there's also baby clothing, um, but primarily shoes. That is my impression of it. What is the first thing you would like to do on this page? Please go ahead and try to do that now. Please try describe your experience. Okay, so the products are definitely very eye-catching. So the first thing I would want to do is kind of scroll through um, the images on the home page. Um, oh, and actually I see from these navigation items that it isn't just women's and girls' shoes. There's also clothing, bags, accessories, and there's even men's stuff, which I'm surprised about. And then for baby and kids, I, ex I expected that based on my initial impression on the homepage. Decor, I had not expected that. Um, the brands, in case I want to actually search by brands. And I have not heard of Pimpos before, but I see it as um, an actual brand. And so this is the brand's website as, um, as well as their e-commerce site. But then this site looks like it also sells a couple of other brands on it. There's gifts, which primarily consist of gift cards. Oh, okay, and then I can filter. There's a blog. Um, yeah, so the first thing I would do after looking through the navigation to see what's on the site is go through the home page to see what there is. And presumably these are the products that are highly featured, so this that's why I would do that. What stood out to you on this website? What, if anything, frustrated you about the site? Please summarize your thoughts. Okay, so what stood out to me is definitely the photographs of the shoes. They're very eye-catching, um, whimsical. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, I don't think anything would. Uh, uh, there's not anything controversial about that statement. Um, so that's what stood out to me. Um, what frustrated me, I'm not sure anything frustrated me. I definitely wanted to keep going because the shoes are very interesting to look at. And then when I explored a little more, I saw it wasn't just shoes for girls and women, but there's also stuff for other, um, for men, decor, that kind of thing. So um, I guess nothing frustrated me. I felt like I got a good impression of what it is. This pop-up with the chat is not very, um, I heard the ding and then I see this little message here. So that's definitely not um, in the way. So really nothing was um, frustrating. I thought it was well done. Um, I 
don't have any additional comments, questions, or suggestions, I guess what I would do next is probably if I were in the market to look for something for women, I would look in the women's section. Or if I were, lo were looking something for kids, I would look for the baby and kids sections. And then I would also look at the sale um, page to see what's on sale.